For the most part, most applications in the Google Workspace Marketplace are gonna be pretty safe for you to make use of if you wanna let them access your data. Now, anytime you add a new app or connect an integration, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you for permissions. And every time that happens, I get a little bit afraid because I see that this app has the ability to delete things in my Google Calendar. Is it possible to edit a shared Google Calendar from third-party applications like Outlook or Room Scheduling Tools? I've reviewed all the settings in Workspace and found the sharing options, but I couldn't locate any setting for granting editing permissions. Well, this is a great question. And I think the fundamental question here is, should I let a third-party app edit my Google Calendar? Now, if you're wondering what tools, what connections should I connect to my Google account, for the most part, most applications in the Google Workspace Marketplace are gonna be pretty safe for you to make use of if you wanna let them access your data. Now, anytime you add a new app or connect an integration, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you for permissions. And every time that happens, I get a little bit afraid because I see that this app has the ability to delete things in my Google Calendar. Now, these days, Google Calendar has a rubbish bin, so you can get some data back if you need to. You could also use Google Vault to get access to old data if something were to happen. But it doesn't kind of save the uneasiness that I have where 15 years of events are in my calendar and they could potentially be at risk if a third-party application stuffs up and decides to delete some of them. Now, there are many reasons you may wanna connect your calendar to an external app. Maybe you wanna use Calendly and schedule some meetings for you and the rest of your team members on a round robin, right? Google has a pretty decent built-in calendar scheduling link, which lets you have people book in appointments on your calendar. And that's really easy to set up and nowadays is quite powerful. But if you're looking for more advanced calendar scheduling, you might consider Calendly or one of the many other calendar tools that are available to let people make bookings and there's options for transactions and round robins and group bookings and many other features. You may also choose to connect your calendar to a productivity app. I have my Asana tasks automatically appearing on my calendar. That's a nice little trick. Now, technically I'm not actually sharing my Google Calendar for that. I'm subscribing to the Asana calendar, but I still count that as an integration. What else might I add to my Google Calendar? Well, there's an app that I've been testing called Motion, which actually connects to my Google Calendar and helps me to organize my meetings. Now, it's like an AI to-do list tool that automatically finds time on your calendar to get things done. I liked it. I didn't find it integrated with Asana very well, so I haven't used it all that much, but that might be something that I connect. And finally, there are legacy applications that you may choose to connect. You might wanna connect your Mac calendar on your Apple device. On your Apple iPhone, you can even connect your Apple calendar there. You might wanna connect your Outlook to your Google calendar as well. And I wanna cover off my thoughts on these because it's pretty important to be careful when connecting these apps. Now, if I wanna connect the Mac calendar on my desktop machine, and synchronize that app to my Google Calendar, that is possible. I'm able to drag and drop events and change events, add events, delete events on my Apple Calendar, and it's gonna automatically synchronize it to my Google Calendar. However, I strongly discourage you from taking this route. The reason is that from time to time, I've seen over the years, synchronization issues with Mac Calendar. And I also put Apple Calendar on your iPhone in the same bucket. I don't like using third-party apps for managing my calendar because if something gets out of sync, Calendar is such a critical resource that if a calendar was missed or lost and I had a prospect waiting for me or a investor and I just didn't show up to a meeting because of a stuff up in my calendar, I'd be pretty devastated. I need my calendar to be absolutely bulletproof. I'm an executive that's involved in a pretty successful and large scale business. I just can't handle my calendar not being perfect. Like it just doesn't work for me. So my preference is to always use the native Google apps. That means when I'm on my computer, I'm using the web interface in a browser. And that means when I'm on my phone, I've downloaded the Google Calendar app and I'm exclusively using the Google Calendar app. So that's my strong recommendation. Now, if you wanna use something like Outlook, well, you could connect it to Outlook with some kind of backdoor solutions, but the correct way to connect your Google Calendar to Outlook is to use Google App Sync, or it's now called Google Workspace Sync for Outlook. And that's a special plugin that you download you add it to your Outlook, and it means that you will actually connect via Outlook's correct protocols. And to be honest, it's a pretty darn good way of synchronizing your Outlook calendar 
to your Google Calendar. It's native in the Outlook side of things and because it's built by Google for literally millions of Outlook users, it's a pretty robust synchronization tool. Outside of those, I probably wouldn't touch many third-party tools that have the ability to add to or delete my calendar. Maybe if I had some zaps that I had automated with some workflows, I might choose to use that to either read calendar events. I'd be a bit more careful about placing events onto my calendar because with all tech automations, it sometimes got a little bit haywire. If you want our team to build those for you, they can build them in Zapier and test them and monitor them to make sure they're working correctly. But I, I really try not to let any third-party tools get access to my calendar data because my preference is to just use the online interface or to use the Google Calendar app. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this Click the link below to get started.